One is material science. It's anything and everything around us. It's the many things that we use, like the non-stick frying pans, the semiconductors in our computers, to the casings for our cameras and phones. And it's really about what we use and what defines us. So material science is the study of properties of all kinds of different materials. And it's a little bit like cooking, so I know that I can put a little bit in here of this material, a little bit in there and that material, and then I get to, yeah, match, mix, see if it works. Everything from a cardboard box to a smartphone probably has its foundations in material science research that was performed in university departments and government labs around the world over the past hundred years or more. In material science we classify materials into specific categories such as metals, ceramics, polymers and then even combining these things to make composites which can be lightweight and really strong. You can use them for racing cars, for helicopters and high-tech gadgets. Uh, so materials are everywhere. Um, outside of my research, in my leisure time, I enjoy paragliding. And that's a sport that's really benefited from material science and improvements in materials. So basically, I mean, when I fly out high over the water and I think my life is suspended from these dental floss thin lines, it's just amazing that the whole thing works and that's directly, a direct result of materials engineering. A lot of people don't understand or don't talk about what material science is, but it's something that's important to everything that we do. It's a foundation of our industry, it's a foundation of our life. It takes fundamental science and turns it into a diverse range of applications which can really impact society and the world. We're looking at recycling end-of-life tyres, for example, and using that as a raw material in the process of making steel out of all things. So the impact that material science and engineering can have on materials, on this planet, on the environment, is what makes me so passionate and is the reason why I do material science and engineering.